the most news in the morning. There is a new push from Congress to try to overhaul America's prisons. Senator Jim Webb calls our system a national disgrace. He says while we have just 5% of the world's population, we have 25% of the world's known prisoners. Also, drugs, corruption, and violence rampant inside of our jails and prisons. Senator Webb is co-sponsoring a new bill to try to tackle these problems. He joins us live from Capitol Hill. Senator, thanks for being with us this morning. Good morning. You also wrote a great article in Parade uh, pushing to fix the prison system. What are the biggest problems as you see them? Well, I've been involved in this issue for many years as an attorney and as a journalist. In fact, at one point I spent a month going through the Japanese criminal justice system. And so when I came to the Senate in 07, I decided to hold hearings on mass incarceration uh, and on drugs policy and to try to figure out uh, where the criminal justice system itself is broken because we've got as you said we've got 2.38 million people in prison we've got 7 million inside that criminal justice system and yet our neighborhoods aren't any safer particularly with uh, the uh, violent right. uh, gangs transnational gangs etc so the answer is um, it's broken everywhere and so I introduced a, a bill at the beginning of this year uh, to get a national commission a high uh, blue ribbon, high-ranking blue ribbon commission uh, with the leader appointed by the president to get an entire look at the system all the way from uh, sentencing to uh, the conditions inside prisons to re-entry programs to look at the gang situation to and to come up with a specific set of policy recommendations where we can fix the whole thing writ large and we've got 24 or 25 sponsors already in the Senate on this the administration has said that they support us, and it's something that we just urgently need to do. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, all, it's it, also along a, with the other problems that we have here. Right, it's quite a tall order, and of course you know that yourself. Uh, you write that our prisons are overcrowded. We know that they're ill-managed in some cases. You got violence, physical abuse, hate, breeding grounds to perpetuate and magnify these same types of behavior that we purport to fear. This is what you were writing about. But why can't we control what happens in our prisons? Well, the question isn't just prisons. The, the question is the criminal justice system writ large, uh, how we decide who goes to jail, uh, what we do with them when they're inside jail, how we uh, assist people who want to lead a better life when they get out, how we deal with uh, the situation with gangs. Uh, they, they, they all interrelate. And I think that it's just one of these things that every American uh, has a self-interest in fixing and yet when you get up here in the policy level it just continually falls off the radar screen because politicians don't want to be accused of uh, being soft on crime uh, and it's uh, you know it's just not one of these issues that uh, you see make the, the floor in a comprehensive way so this is what we want to do this is like a chance uh, one chance in 50 years, right. I think, to really get our arms around this and fix it. I want to ask you about something else, about the huge percentage of the growth of incarceration since the 1980s. A lot of this is as the result of nonviolent crimes, as we've been talking about. Research show that 60% of people in state prisons are serving time for a drug offense uh, who are serving time for a drug offense have had no prior history of violence or any significant selling activity. So. Uh, once again, the, the question goes back to legalization. Is there some way to address this problem, and, and would you support perhaps legalizing marijuana? Well, I think what we need to do is to put all of the issues on the table. You're correct. If you go back to 1980 as a starting point, I think we had 40,000 people in prison with, uh, when, on drug charges, and today we have about a half a million of them. And the great majority of those are nonviolent crimes, possession crimes, or, or minor sales. Uh, at the same time, we've got the uh, situation with uh, Mexican drug cartels conducting violence along the border, uh, operating in more than 230 American cities, and we aren't getting our arms around that in a proper way. So we need to put it all on the table. That's why we need a, a presidential commission to look at these things, people who have high stature in these, in these career areas, and to report to the Congress about the best way to go forward. But nothing should be off the table. All right, and, and that includes, as you're saying, possibly uh, looking at legalization? Well, I think they should examine every aspect of drugs policy to see what's working and what's not working and, and where the consistencies are and, quite frankly, where the inconsistencies are in terms of how uh, people end up in the system with right. uh, similar activities. 
Senator Jim Webb, thanks for talking to us this morning. And uh, before launching this bill, by the way, Senator Webb's office collected more facts about America's prison system. We put some of them up now in an AM Extra. We told you America has 2.3 million people behind bars. That's five times higher than the world's average incarceration rate. Another five million are either on probation or out on parole. That makes them part of the criminal uh, justice system. And the number of jailed drug offenders here in the U.S. has increased 12 hundred percent since 1980. That research also says four times as many mentally ill people are in prison than in mental health facilities.